Welcome back to another episode of our new Destiny 1 character series. In the last episode, we had a pretty successful hard mode run of the Wrath of the Machine raid that left us at a 395 light level and netted us some pretty solid weapons and armor. In this episode, we have a lot of engrams to open, a lot of bounties to turn in, and a visit to Xur, and then some strike farming for exotics and some strike specific loot. If you enjoy this episode and want to see more episodes in the future, then leave a like on this video so I know there's still interest to keep this series going. If you're new here, maybe consider subscribing for more Destiny 1 content moving forward in 2020. But let's get right into the video, guys. First things first is we head to Rahul and decrypt all these engrams we've built up over the last couple of episodes. Now I'm just spamming the decrypt button on all the blues as usual, but we actually get pretty lucky with our blue engrams, acquiring a pretty solid PvP rolled Parthian shot and even a 398 Nemesis Star Exotic, which is now our highest light level heavy. I did not expect Rahul to be so kind on the blue engrams, but the bastard sometimes does surprise me. The purple engrams actually ended up being a little bit more disappointing than the blues, however we still got an exotic we didn't have, the Tarantella, which just never was that strong. I was more excited about the Event Horizon role we got which has Hidden Hand and Quick Draw as well as the Longview Sight that while not everyone's favorite, I personally really like. We also got a couple of rockets but they didn't have amazing rolls but I'll keep one just to have a decent legendary rocket on my character. Next up is a Vanguard package that actually gave a half decent roll this time on the Shadow Price and because I love this auto rifle, I'll take any usable roll. Now Zer is also in town today just across the hall from Cade and this bastard had some pretty good stuff. I didn't have the Nighthawk which will be nice moving forward and the Nothing Manacles are great for my Warlock I recently made and of course the last word is a PvP machine so I had to buy it. We also have three Treasure of Ages to open at the end of the video but for now we're gonna grab some bounties and head into the Heroic Strike playlist and farm some more. My will is not my own. Let's see what we got. Whether we wanted it or not. Oh, my Ooh, an exotic. Oh no, dude. Watch it be Nighthawk. After I just bought it from Xur. One. Two. Uh... Valis Tark, you're done. Oh my god. Fourth horseman, man. It's a pretty quick kill. So obviously Sepix, when they bring him back, will be the original version, not the Sepix perfected version, but I love this strike in the perfected SIVA version, honestly. I think uh it might be my favorite strike. Yeah, actually, this is my favorite strike. I gotta say, the SIVA version of Sepix. The original is definitely incredible, but I just think this uh, had a few improvements to the mechanics for Sepix Prime in the final boss fight, so I think this is my favorite, my favorite strike in Destiny. This fusion is incredibly satisfying with that noise it makes on the kills. Woo! Love it. Oh, trip mines. Get in there and show them that their god is nothing but metal and tech. Dude, I miss you. Open up, Sepix. There's that music, man. Alright, 
Where's the captain? Got him pretty low. Damn, dude. Got him pretty quick. We're just blowing through these strikes. You know, Tanix Perfected is actually a pretty good reprisal of the strike. I think the SIVA versions of these strikes were their best versions probably in terms of gameplay mechanics. Uh, the story, obviously they were brought back to life. It's not as not as interesting as their original stories, both Sepix Prime and Tanix, but I think their strikes mechanics overall improved with the SIVA versions. So. Get all the fire on him. Oh my goodness. There's his crit spot. Jeez. So much shit in here. Alright, check out this pro trip mine. Bam, baby. Can't get me down here, bitch. Oh, what the hell? What the hell? Oh, we're lagging out, boys. Fuck. Oh man, it was such a good run. Well, uh, never mind. Looks like we're back in it. What the hell? All right. Tanix power fades. Where you at, Tanix? Oh no. A little bit of a trip mine fade. And we got him. But let's uh, let's go ahead and pull the chest. I want to get that Tanix cloak, man. Continue to evolve their function. The Guardian will have plenty of opportunities to study Siva. We got it. We got it. So we're back at the tower. Time to decrypt some engrams and see what we get from our exotic engram. I'm betting it's a Nighthawk because, of course, it's going to be a Nighthawk. Uh, but let's go and see what we get, anyways. Get the blues and the purples out of the way. Is that a decently rolled? Nope. Goodbye. Is this a decently rolled? Uh, 
I mean, this is just a bad archetype, and eh, no. I mean, it has no, no. That's just that's crap. Goodbye. And let's get a Nighthawk. There it is. <laughs> of course. Of freaking course. I mean, it's a 399. And it's got... Ooh, hey, that's a... That's a... Yeah, dude, that is a max roll. I think. Almost a near max roll, right? Well, I mean, it's... uh better than this one we have so we're gonna get rid of that sweet I mean at least it's a good roll on the Nighthawk it is a repeat I expected it 100% and uh, whatever all right guys so now it's time to open up these treasure of ages and see exactly what we got we actually did get one more from running a, uh, a strike in the Heroic Strike playlist. So now we have four boxes actually. So let's go ahead and uh, start opening them. And we got, it looks like an emblem and some silver dust and a jackalite. Hold on, let's see what this emblem looks like. It's an SRL emblem. I remember this emblem. It's like some, some like 80s retro type look. I like it, I like it. Maybe we'll, maybe we'll wear it for a little bit, we'll see. Uh, all right, next box here. Ooh, did I? I don't know. Did I already have this shader? Hold on. I don't remember if I got this one. I know I had it on my main account at one point. Ooh, not too shabby, dude. It could look pretty good with a potentially solid looking armor set. Uh, all right, let's keep going. Let's keep going. Okay, we got, wow, two different sets. So we got the Snow Angel Horns. What? Dude, I remember these from the dawning. They look pretty cool. Pretty good looking stuff. And uh, the Grasps of Triumph. The Grasp of Triumph. All right, not bad. We can potentially use these for our armor builds later. Uh, let's open up the last Treasure of Ages box. Hopefully we get something cool here. Uh, what? That's it? <sighs> Man, <laughs> it's a little bit of a bummer. So that's going to be it for this episode, guys. I really hope you enjoyed. We went up to a 397 light level by the end of it, and we also got some pretty decently rolled weapons and armor pieces, except for the Cloak of Tanix, which was a crappy roll, which is a big, big bummer. We got Lucky with Rahul. Somehow the guy came in clutch today. Zer was really clutch today. There's a lot of good things that happened in this episode, and I promise you guys we're going to be getting more and more episodes coming out for the new character series, and uh, we're going to move on probably to the Titan and the Warlock, whichever one you would like to see first. Let me know in the comments down below, and thank you so much for watching, guys, and I'll see you in the next episode.